The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. That's why he covers their faces with mud, to make them anonymous. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why he gives them an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. Very interesting. And where does all that get us? The get best way out. of tracking a predator is to be familiar with his behavior. That may be true in novels, but there's a child's life at stake here. Continue, Jaden. Yeah, Blake, shut up. Uh, then I Popeye. studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And, and what size is this, uh, zone? Large. For the moment? Black. About 10 square mile. Ah, oh, great. There must be 10,000 people living in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? No, you dumbass. You the more clues we get, the more we can reduce the zone. We can then cross-check it with our list of suspects and identify the killer. Rainfall. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take 10%. What on earth does that mean? All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. Oh, great. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. So what's next? There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. God damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. Yeah. The killer's out there somewhere. We gotta get off our asses and find him. Yeah, go on. good luck with that. The killer is no ordinary murderer. He is intelligent, organized, and methodical. You won't find him by patrolling the streets. Tell me, Agent Jaden, did you get your vast experience on the job, or did you just fucking read about it in some school book? Fuck you. I came here to find a killer, and that is exactly what I'm gonna do, with or without your Fucking help. Fucking asshole! That's enough! Shut up, Blake. You said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. How much time do we have left? If the weather forecasts are right, less than 72 hours. Lots of heavy rain. Do we have to bring him along? Hello? Open up, police. And FBI. I don't think he's in. No answer. We waste our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. I need to have a warrant. There is, is it a crime. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. It isn't legal. Call the cops. <laughs> uh, well, I'll give them that. Oh my god. Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. Yeah, you could say that. He's a God-fearing idiot, waiting for the end of the world. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. Said he heard voices. Had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I had come to Earth to persecute him. Real twisted. Yeah. This guy is a nut. I don't think he's a killer. I 
what I was useful. It would be nice to know what sort of books he had. It was just loads of religious crap. Oh, yeah, religious stuff. I, 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 don't, I don't care much for religion. <laughs> I apologise I have offended anyone. He's taking a lot of medicine. Bill's here. For cut's sake, can't use a door handle. Why would that door be locked? Vitamin, vitamin tablet. Eh, yeah, vitamin tablets. Ready? This is just. This is place is just gonna set on fire with all these candles. She's on a wooden chair. Yeah, this is a house fire waiting to happen. Ooh. Yep, that's what happens if you just leave. This is in the sink. You don't get magically cleaned. Yeah. Back here again. Oh shit. Uh oh. Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. Shut up. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Uh... You were arrested in a case where a child disappeared from a park. What exactly happened? I'm innocent. I have nothing to do with those murders. I was in the park because God spoke to me. I was arrested because I am the chosen one. That's all. Sure, you were. Uh, let's talk I about your crucifixes. obsession. Are you afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I'm preparing for the end of the world. It didn't happen. Alibi, Nathaniel, that's always a good one. Do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here? I was here. I was praying. All day. Was there hey, anybody Alibi. with you? No. No, I was alone. You sure? What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Or we oh, both know gosh. who talks to you. Don't speak that name. Don't treat him like that. What does he say Blake, to you, Nathaniel? What are you doing? I can't talk about it. You mustn't talk about it. Can't do this. He orders you to go and find Leave new prey, alone. doesn't he? He needs more and more. Wait, oh, don't push me out of the way. No. no! You mustn't mention him. You'll bring him here. Uh, where am I going? He told you to go shit. find that kid in Are the you park. Out of your the mind? voice has tormented you all night long. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? You can't do this. Stop! Stop! That's enough! You're aggravating him. So you obeyed them to make them stop. You took that boy with you and you drowned him. Isn't that right? No! no. What are you stop. doing? Stop! You can't killed them, didn't this. you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? <clears throat> Okay, that's. You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, Nathaniel. I shall dispatch you to your father in hell. He is oh, the shit. son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy shoot, us. For Christ's sake, shoot! No, can't do that. Psychological. You're not going to kill the Antichrist with a revolver, Nathaniel. He's much too powerful for Antichrist that. Antichrist, my ass! <laughs> Get that gun out of my face! Concentrate again. on my voice, Nathan. Listen only to my voice. 
Nope, that wasn't the right thing to say. You shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power. Keep calm, keep calm, keep calm. Uh, Lieutenant psychological Blake again. is going to leave our planet right now and return to the what? realm of shadows. Creature of darkness, I do beseech you to return to the realm of shadows and leave our Nathaniel in peace. Christ, all powerful. Defend us in our battle with the forces of evil. Protect us from the cunning and wiles of the demon. May God Almighty manifest the power of his empire. And may divine power cast Satan and all the other spirits that prowl the world in search of souls. He's enough, the but I'm not, I can't shoot him. Oh. Fuck. Uh, 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 gun down. Now put the gun down. Put the gun down on the floor. Back, Back away. Slowly. <sighs> not a killer. Killing is a sin. Now drop the gun. Drop it, Nathaniel. I Put your can't. hands on your head. Turn around. Motherfucker! Oh, fuck. In the name of the Lord. I exorcise thee, Satan. Oof. Okay, I gone badly. the show's over. You're under arrest. What would they have two guns? Pretty damn well. cool under the circumstances. I would have just shot him. Yeah, I'm, A gun I, isn't I'm the sure answer to every problem, Blake. Maybe not, but most of the time it helps. And what would have sold, really? <laughs> 